Hi YouTube, out on Dartmoor again for another wild camp. Today it's turned out to be quite a nice day and I'm here with Scotty G. So we're just heading up to Chinkwell Tour, just do a one night wild camp. Scotty G's going to cook us a nice meal and uh, got the dog with us as well. So comfortable, it's unbelievable. Scotty G's rocking the Atmos 50. Brilliant bag. Rossberg's rocking the Osprey Exos 48, the original. We're starting to lose light now. The sun's starting yeah. to set now. It is going quick. So we'll find somewhere to pitch our tents and then uh, you know to get tea on. Huh? Get tea on the go. Do you know how to do a sunset with the fingers? Nope. Each finger's 15 minutes, like that. Depends how big your fingers are, doesn't it? No. Blowing it up under the sun there, look. We've got half an hour before the sun goes right down. Yeah. Two fingers. What time is it? Have you got a watch on? 25 to 7, that sun will be down. Yeah. Well, we got time. Half an hour. Right. We're going to find somewhere to pitch up. And, uh we need to be that side as well because the wind's yeah the wind's coming in this side isn't it so we'll get that side find somewhere to pitch a tent and uh, go from there shall us I'm back yeah see you in a bit Watch boy, are you? You're on watch. Little tip if you've got a lantern, keep an extra couple of pegs with you. So when it gets windy, you just peg the door straight down to the floor. So you loosen the bottom bit off from the peg that's there, just peg the door straight down and it'll reduce the wind and the draft. He wanted to be close to me. No, oh, yeah, it's bullshit. There's loads of flat spots. He just wanted to be close to me. So what he wants me to do is, when I'm sleeping, he wants me to put my hand out in the tent and hold his hand because he's scared, yeah. I'm scared, <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we, what we got on here at the minute then, so we, we, got the, we found out that you didn't bring your gas can, yeah. which School is a bit boy. of a shame. Schoolboy error. The baked beans, Uncle Ben's. Three different flavoured pepper amis, flaming hot, normal and mild. So that'll be all chopped up. What pot's that? That's the OEX cook kit and we're cooking off the OEX Vulcan. Perfect little bit of kit. Yeah, brilliant. I've got that one and it is it is a brilliant stove. That's definitely my winter stove. So that'll start coming out soon. MSR chopping board. Don't worry, I'm not leaving the dog out. He's got a he can, he can have a bit of water in his. Look at him, look. he's like, oh, I want that. <laughs> look at him, look. Yeah, look at his lips, me, he's like, oh, I'm not, I'm, not having, I'm not eating mine, look. Pick, I'm having that. <laughs> I, bought, I bought him one of them, look. This is called the Scotty G's Meat Feast. <laughs> So yeah, this is just going to be a, a local wild camp really, just um, to get out, just to get out, yeah. First one since I've done the West Highland Way, and uh, my first one in about I'm a year. bit behind with the old editing at the minute, but I'll I'll get there as, as soon as I can. That's about half each, isn't it? Yeah, whatever you think, mate. Oh, it is, yeah. Looking nice. 
Oh, 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 can't wait. You good boy? Look at him, Still hungry, boy, are you? Not that. That's, that's... Well, enjoy a nice coffee. And, uh Cheers. Cheers. You want shadow boy? You want right, boil? Good boy. Good boy. Good morning, Mossberg. <laughs> snug as a bug in a rug. Yeah, looks snug in there to be honest. I am. It's comfortable as hell. <sighs> Morning YouTube. Well, it's brekkie time. Packed my sleeping bag and all that away just to just to get it done. But uh, yeah, it's time to have a coffee and warm warm myself up a bit. It is proper bitterly cold today. It wasn't that windy, was it? But it's it a proper cold. It got started getting camp. windy, didn't it? Yeah, it started getting a bit windy, but. Especially Ross this morning, he's windy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> beans it's last all those night. beans you put in that meal last <laughs> night. Yeah, so uh, oh, have some brekkie, have a coffee, and uh, make our way back, I suppose. So we've all packed up now and uh, leave no trace. This is where we were camping last night. Leave no trace. So we're going to pop over to Honey Bag Tour. just over there where I stayed uh, on one of my wild camps Scott wants to have a look at it so uh, take a stroll over there and then we'll go back back to the van we've come up to Honeyback Tour to have a look um, well, last time I come up here I explored the top part but never explored the rest of it and we've just found a perfect bivy tarp uh, area to set up We've got Chinkwo Tour there, where we camped, just up by the car up there. And this area would be pretty good for a nice bivy top camp, because there's plenty of tie out points for your ridge lines and stuff around the rocks. And then plenty of space for two people, well, two people to camp. So, uh, yeah, watch this space, it, it definitely is on the cards. That's where we stayed up there, wasn't it? Yeah. Considering you're nice and close to the car, you do feel like you're in the middle of nowhere, don't you? Yeah. The scenery around here is stunning. The views you get, the views you get for very little effort is um, stunning. Well, that was a nice wild camp, wasn't it, Scott? Perfect. I'm just glad to be back out and doing it. Yeah. We're nearly back to the van now, so uh, I guess I'll just say thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and uh, until next time, stay safe, leave no trace, and I'll see you again.